Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace to the rest of you. This is Blackheart sign of Black in again asking you to hit that uh, share button first and then to hit the like or the subscribe button afterwards because the message is more important than the messenger. And this message is quickly about two things. Number one, um, number one, I want to go ahead and go a little bit more in depth. Uh, into what I mentioned about the misdefinition of nice guys and how women do have a valid point Although often stated for the wrong reasons that not every so-called nice guy is really nice Ladies what I want you to understand is that when guys are nice to try to get the draws It's because that's what they were told women wanted at first They were told that you know when they were young that women wanted nice guys they were told this by women about women and they were told us by women in their families. And it's is impossible to expect young, well-behaved men or young, respectful guys um, to just start off assuming that their mother's lying. Start off assuming that the grandmother's lying. And that the aunt's lying. That the older sisters are lying to them. They can't do that. In order for a man to realize early on that you don't really care about how nice a man is, <laughs> you care about how let's say how strong and how dominant a man is only and only that that man has to start off his young life in his childhood believing mom's lying my sister's lying the women on tv are lying the teacher's lying the girls in the school are lying they're all lying about what they want let me just do what the hell i want and dominate and see what happens they have to start their life off that way this means that they don't start off with a high respect for the women even in the families the women we're supposed to believe when we're young that's the first thing you gotta understand and this is how men come to the idea this is how men start to think that y'all are lying so I want you to understand that first second thing I want you to understand is that yes a man can be nice for the wrong reasons. Just like I've said, you can say the right things for the wrong reasons. If that is the case, it's okay to say to a man, you don't want to be nice for the wrong reasons. But you're going to have to be honest at some point about what you don't actually like. And what you're going to have to be honest with him about what lies other women have told him that he's believed. Now, the other thing I want to get at is about uh, what Ron Will said. I'm not disparaging him because he's trying to explain something that women themselves don't explain very well in words. He, was, he, he entitled his last video, The Real Difference Between the Select and the Non-Select, and he said it came down to the feeling that the, the women get, the feeling of intoxication, and that's cool to a certain extent. Love and attraction can be intoxicating for both genders to a certain extent. But what I want to be also understood is that... Um, there does have to be more to it for anybody to make a smart choice. Naturally, we both know that. But the other thing I also wanted to mention is this. Until the day that women can explain in words what the hell it is that gives them that feeling of intoxication in the first place, men are not required to sit up here and try to figure it out. Ain't but two ways for women to explain this to men. Either they say it in words or they show it in their actions or both. So there are two ways and you can combine them in any percentage. But that's what it takes. Ask a woman you know romantically, unromantically, platonically, or genetically. Ask a lady what makes women in general, the, the majority of them, feel that feeling of intoxication and if they are no longer as eloquent as they are when it comes to other stuff the minute you perceive that this is more difficult for her to explain in words than it is for her to explain other things then you go ahead and decide at that point it doesn't matter what they want I mean to a certain extent it does but you have to understand that it's not important for one reason they can't even explain it how are you supposed to know you are not responsible to read minds. If they're not responsible to read yours, then how can we, simpler creatures than they are, be responsible to read their minds? You can't. That right there excuses you. So if you are so-called non-select, 
for reasons that you did not know early enough, it ain't your fault. Now, if you made the choice knowing, then yeah, that's on you. And if you're happy with it, then there's really nothing to, uh, if you're okay with the choice, there's really nothing to discuss. But if you ever became that because of reasons that you did not know about before, because you were lied to, you got every right to be pissed off about having been lied to. You got every right to look at whoever cannot come and explain in words the truth as easily as they were explained to us when they were lies, as easily as words were used by those who were lying, then you've got every right to be upset about this and say, you know, you know what, I can't trust y'all. Because you have to understand that consistency is important in anybody's behavior. If a gender can't, is known for not being able to fuck the shuck up and stop squawking and talking all the time, then how dare they get silent and start stumbling and stammering for words and stuttering and talking with their hands and everything except clearly explaining what the hell they want when it comes to the opposite gender? How dare they do it? I mean, what's it going to be? You can't fuck the shuck up or you can't talk. What is it? Which one is it? They can talk about everything except that. This is a reason for men to be pissed off in any culture in which this is true. I mean, it's just like for women. If women sit up and they say, well, you know, men will have responsibility and they have a sense of respect for everybody except for us. They have the right to say we're not going to tolerate men singling us out for disrespect. They got that right to say it. But that means they also can't uh, single themselves out to be disrespected. That's the other thing it means. It means you can't turn around and single out men for your difficulty. <laughs> you logical and, and, un, and understandable and reasonable about everything else in your life except this. Now all of a sudden you're not. Uh-uh. No, no, you don't get that right. Then turn around and tell us we got to respect you like we respect everybody else. No, the hell we don't. We both got to be consistent. Inconsistency in one is a license for inconsistency in the other. If we singled you out first for disrespect, it makes sense that you would turn around and single us out to be the most difficult. You be good to your boss, good to everybody else, turn around and be bad to your man. Well, that's if he's singling you out for disrespect. That would make sense. If he did it first, if he did not, then no. How dare you turn around and be all open and honest and responsible and reasonable to everybody else in your life, turn around and be all hard to figure out for your man. How dare you? And the reverse is true. If you started first with the difficulty and the uh, and the coy uh, the coyness and the secrecy and not just coming out click on saying this is what we like and who and the women who say otherwise are lying. If you're not capable of doing that and you were the first ones that could talk about everything else endlessly except this and clearly and eloquently except this subject, then men are going to single you out for disrespect because they can't help it. You've shown that you are only respectable and respectful when it comes to any relationship other than your man. It's up to you, ladies. It always has been. Ball's always been in your court with this concern. I don't say this out of hatred. I say this because I hope that you and some good men in the future can find happiness if you can fix yourselves. But for my generation and for me personally, it's too late. So I'm not saying it's thinking I'm going to gain something out of this. I don't record these 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 messages thinking I'm going to gain something out of it. I've already gotten married. I didn't expect to get married. It can work. It can fail. Either one can happen. But I got a son and I got daughters. And I would like for each of them to not be socialized in a way that is detrimental to the others. However, I can honestly say that my son is not being socialized in a way that's detrimental to women. Whereas I don't know what my daughters are being socialized to believe about men. And it's the same for most fathers out here. And this is why it is. This is what I want to stop. Not just for my own kids, but even for yours. I hope this has been a benefit. Black Heart Sign and Blackout. Assalamu alaikum.